Hi, in this video we're going to be going over lesson 4.5, real world problems multiplying with mixed numbers. To begin, we're going to read through our problem and highlight any key words that we come across. So our problem says there are 40 guests at a party. Each guest eats two and three-fourths mini pizzas. How many mini pizzas do the guests eat all together? So I go and look at my key numbers. I see 40 guests, so I'm going to highlight that. Each guest eats two and three-fourths mini pizzas. And my question I'm answering is how many mini pizzas do the guests eat all together? So if I break apart the information I know, I know that one guest eats two and three-fourths mini pizzas. I know there are 40 guests. And I'm trying to figure out how many mini pizzas altogether those 40 guests ate. And so that tells me that I need to multiply 40 times two and three-fourths. Now if you remember from the last lesson, we need to change our mixed number into an improper fraction. So we're going to do our fraction cartwheel. Four times two is equal to eight. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, so 11 becomes our numerator, and 4 stays as our denominator. And we're multiplying that by 40. And remember, whenever you have a whole number, your denominator is going to be 1. And before we multiply across, let's check to see if we can simplify. If I look at 40 and 4, I know that both 40 and 4 have 4 in common. 40 divided by 4 is 10, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now we're ready to go ahead and multiply. 10 times 11 is 110. 1 times 1 is equal to 1, so we just simplify 110 over 1 is equal to 110. So all together, they ate 110 mini pizzas. This next example that we're going to go over is very similar to the first one, except that we're going to express our answer at the end as a decimal instead of as either a fraction or a whole number. Our problem says Justina has five ribbons, each two and one-fourth feet long. What is the total length of the ribbons? Express your answer as a decimal. So I know that Justina has five ribbons, each two and one-fourth feet long. What is the total length of the ribbons? And I'm going to highlight decimal so that we remember that we have to do that at the end. So we break apart what we know. She has five ribbons and each one is two and one-fourth feet long. So in order to figure out how much she has all together, we need to multiply 5 times 2 and 1 fourth. Again, we're going to change our mixed number into an improper fraction. So go ahead and pause the video and practice changing your mixed number into an improper fraction. We multiply 4 times 2, which is 8, and add 1, which is 9. So 2 and 1 fourth becomes 9 fourths. And 5 becomes 5 over 1. We can check to see if we can simplify. We can't simplify 1 and 9. 
and we can't simplify 5 and 4, so this time we're going to just multiply straight across. 5 times 9 equals 45, and 1 times 4 equals 4. Now we need to simplify 45 fourths by changing it into a mixed number. I know that 4 fits into 45 11 times without going over. 11 times 4 is 44, which means that we have 1 fourth left over. Now to change our answer into a decimal, we have to remember our place value. So our whole number part of our mixed number becomes our whole number part of our decimal. So we have 11, and then we put our decimal point. And now we need to change 1 fourth into a decimal. Now when we're changing a fraction into a decimal, remember our target denominators that we're trying to make are either 10 or 100. We can't multiply 4 by anything to get 10, but we can multiply 4 by something to get 100. If we make a connection to money, there are 4 quarters in a dollar, and so we can multiply 4 times 25 to get 100. Whatever we multiply the bottom by, we need to multiply the top by. So 1 fourth becomes 25 hundredths. And since our denominator is hundredths, we have our tenths place, and we have our hundredths place. Since our denominator is 100, that tells us that we're going to go to the hundredths place. So 25 hundredths would go like that. So we would read our answer as 11 and 25 hundredths. This next example is going to be a multi-stop word problem. Our problem reads, a chef uses three bottles of olive oil to make salad dressing. Each bottle contains one and a half quarts of oil. The cost of one quart of olive oil is $5. Find the total cost of the oil she uses. So if we go and highlight our key information, a chef uses three bottles. Each bottle contains one and a half quarts. And the cost of one quart is $5. And what we're trying to figure out is the total cost of the oil she uses. In order for us to be able to find the total cost of the oil that she uses, we first need to figure out how much oil she uses to begin with. And the way that we're going to do that is by taking the number of bottles that we have and multiplying that by how much oil is in each of those bottles. So we're going to be multiplying 3 times 1 and a half. We're going to go ahead and change one and a half into an improper fraction. Two times one is two plus one is three. So we have three over one times three halves. When we multiply across, three times three equals nine. One times two equals two. So the total amount of quarts of oil that she has is nine halves. Now we're ready for step two of the problem. We know that in total she has nine halves quarts of oil. And we know that one quart of olive oil is five dollars. So we can take our total amount of oil and multiply that by the cost of one quart, which is five. We're going to put our denominator as one. And then we're just going to multiply 9 times 5, which is 45, 2 times 1 is 2. We're going to simplify that into a mixed number first, and then we're going to change that into a decimal because we're dealing with money. 
45 divided by 2 is equal to 22 and a half. If you have half a dollar, that's equal to 50 cents. So we can change 22 and a half into $22 and 50 cents.